Good morning, everybody. The Rev here. It's time for a cup of coffee with Jesus. I hope you're doing well today. Not bad work coffee again today. Good stuff. So I was reading in the book of Ephesians again this morning. And I uh, got to verse uh, chapter 5, verse 17. And this is... Uh, the, the, the Chapter 5 is... Uh, be imitators of God. But when I got to verse 17, it just... Uh, it just struck a chord with me again this morning and it says so then do not be foolish but understand what the will of the Lord is and I just thought of that it's like how many times have I like tried to reason through um, things on my own that I've I've tried to uh, justify things in my my own mind I've tried to uh, rationalize things but really what I should have been doing is uh, understanding what the will of the Lord is. I I missed that for quite a few years where I really would go to individuals, I would go to um, ask for people's opinion, really, and I wasn't going for what the Word fully says, what the Word of God fully says. And in verse 17, it's just really struck a chord with me today so then, do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And how do you understand what the will of the Lord is? By reading His Word. How do you understand what the will of the Lord is? By asking Him. By seeking His face in prayer. By asking for the answer. And I just realized that I, um, still to this day, sometimes that's not my first go-to. I'm just being transparent. Sometimes that's not my first go-to. That I'll even ask my wife first, be, uh, what do you think about this? I will ask, uh, I'll even ask my daughter, hey, uh, when you hear this, what do you think? What, what, do you, what do you feel in your heart? And I realize that it's foolishness on my part to not understand what the will of the Lord is. And I really don't want to be a fool. I don't want to be foolish. So I'm just putting it before you guys as well, that as you go throughout the day, so then, do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Because He really is a good God. And He has goodness and mercy and grace towards you and I. And He loves us so much that He sent His only begotten Son. That's incredible. And I just think about that and I said, uh, Lord, I'm, I don't want to be foolish in this area and I want to seek what your will is. And his will is always his goodness towards us. And he's never to harm us because he has a plan and a purpose for us in the mighty name of Jesus. So remember as always that Jesus loves you. I love you. There's absolutely nothing you can do about it. So go throughout the rest of your day not being foolish. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.